Welcome back, folks. It is I, your illustrious host, Lord Zeretigrarius Haruk. And as always, my god, this is happening too early for me. Just woke up from a nap, hard day at work, gonna kill someone. Oh, look, I have people I can kill. Wait a minute, I don't remember you being here. Who the fuck are you? Nobody. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the noob. No, nobody, nobody hurt me. Nobody did this to me. Shut up, then, brother. Fucking FNGs. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. I wonder if the Odyssey went over the kid's head. Probably. Yeah. Anyways, folks, this is Red the Odyssey. This is CDB. He is he has been a uh, cult member for the past six months. Been reading books every now and then that your truly puts on the shelves. And he asked one. He has seen a lot of the episodes of Kingmaker and Rune Lords, and he asked us personally what if he was able to join. We are currently deciding whether or not he is completely and mentally dead. Or at least deficient. If not, he oh. did. Or, you know, Cthulhu decided to fondle his balls one night. Everyone knows, if it's just a ball fondle, you're not fully insane, you're just, like, a little mental. Haven't felt saner since. And don't worry, folks. We'll be nice to him. He is a child. He is but a wee little baby. Yeah. Fuck you. Anyways, his character is named Zachariah. Please describe Zachariah to the audience. Uh, he's a rather tall human with brown hair, uh, blue eyes, and he's not very well muscled. Hey, look at that, Ganon. You have a human. You have a friend. No friend of mine. Fucking vanillas. <laughs> yeah. He is a sorcerer fighter mix, and he likes acid arrow. So, what you're telling me is that your character loves acid. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, please tell, like, I, whenever you need a hit, just go and talk to Raggy. He has everything. I would say he has so the I've hookup, heard. But, he, but he probably makes all the shit himself. No, no, no. Raggy doesn't Fun. make it. Ruby does. <laughs> Ruby actually does have ranks and craft alchemy. Raggy does not. So, anyways, folks, I was going through the book, and I was looking at Foxglove Manor, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what the, I wonder what the big bad stats are, and I wonder what, well, not the quote-unquote big bad, but you know what I mean. So, I'm looking through it, and I'm like, okay, we got ghouls, ghouls, ghouls. I quickly checked to make sure this wasn't taking place in Tokyo. It's not, sadly. Then I'm looking at then I'm looking at the the big bad stats and it's just like I closed the book, tossed it in the incinerator, and I started started working on hand to recreate everything. Because there's no fucking way I'm going to start up an initiative for a big bad with 18 HP. No. No. Be like the first time I fought a big bad. One hit. One punch. Ganon, take it away. So, uh, let's see here. All right, folks.
So Vadim and Ganon, Raggy and Ruby seem to be uh, in La La Land right now. You're still, you're still pondering over the beam you found, wondering what you could do with it. I mean, it could make, it make pretty much any like, make two medium-sized weapons you eh, that you could think of. Mm -hmm. Unless they're daggers, then we'll just say that you can make like quite a few daggers out of it. Why would you want to make daggers out of wood? You have no idea what this shit does. <laughs> a throwing dagger, man. Throwing dagger made out of wood of this shit? Oh, 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 oh. oh give me power. Yeah, it did have... It did... Thing with some kind of necromantic power, so... Yep. But, as you guys are pondering over this, and Raggy's, uh... in Cuckoo La La Land... Surprising no one. No, not at all. You guys notice, uh... a line of zombies right there. They're just right there. They just appeared out of nowhere. Where'd they come from? Popped out of the ground. Like daisies. Cool. Uh, eh. Redeem just raises an eyebrow at him. Says, what are you, looking to be sent back? Oh. No, wait, maybe these guys are meant to be fertilizer for the crops. Normally, if I get a message, it's only one of you. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I learned something the other day. Anything you find within the Roll20 jukebox is uh, copyright free. <clears throat> nice. Pretty much. So this zombie steps forward, puts a boombox on the ground. Don't tell me we're having a dance battle. Actually, I will. I if will... it starts playing Wham, I'm leaving. <laughs> Start playing Wham. The band that George Michael was part of before he went solo. Okay. Now, let's see here. You know, played Careless Whisper. <clears throat> okay, I... Damn. <laughs> but now he presses... Uh, folks, I'm going to pause the recording real quick. Had... Oh, I didn't set up pause recording. So, people are going to hear this. No. Ah, goddamn. This is... All we want to do is eat your brains. It's on YouTube. And yes, they start dancing. Oh, is this some of that monster party type shit? <laughs> <laughs> like they start doing weird zombie dance moves from Thriller. They start, they start like doing the shuffle. Get down on the ground, do the grub. Okay, that was that last line was absolutely fucking horrible. Uh. But 
Then the guy in front just goes, You got served. As a big giant black hole opens up below you. Why? As a big giant black hole opens up below below you. I mean, that's pretty self pretty self explanatory right there. Welcome to Wonderland, bitch. Woo! So you guys are falling. You're falling. You look over. Ruby and Raggy are just kind of free balling. I mean, free falling. Actually, it's Ruby. He's always free balling. So, you're falling. It, it feels like hours that so you've fallen. No, no bottom yet. I haven't even seen anything. Worst one. This is the worst Alice in Wonderland remake ever. At least, at least there they had clocks flying by. Here you just have like a dismembered vampire head with bat wings just floating by. That's a little weird, but you know, that's when you land. Prepare for the, prepare for the thud. Take one thousand d six damage. I think I landed on my keys. <laughs> that would do it. Vadim just sighs, uh, staring at the sky, and says, I really fucking hate this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I take you guys look around for a bit? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, to Vadim's surprise... Dark around here. Huh. Nice. <laughs> it's redeemed itself slightly in my eyes. <laughs> Although down that way you see glowing rocks. Huh. Hmm. Vadim, roller and appraisal check. Hmm. Hmm. I would vade. I, I would vadeem that hope. I would hope that vadeem has. Yeah, not too great at it. Well, um, so pretty much vadeem doesn't really know the value of things. He just grabs whatever glitters and is shiny enough. Yeah, that's about, that's about the size of it. What's funny is that the scepter you grabbed earlier is only worth 10 gold, and the and the uh, wooden box that he left behind was actually worth 1,000 gold. Oh, well. Shit happens. Yeah. Wow, funny enough, Vadim, mm -hmm. you got the better roll. <laughs> but, you... Like, in your mind, the glowing rocks really aren't worth anything. I mean, they're just glowing rocks. What what could they do? Nah, they're, they're still glowing. Um, Stones. Detect magic on them? Yeah, there's magic. Nature magic, right. but there's magic. What? Nature magic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything can't be a winner. We're going to go ahead and spellcraft on them. Okay. All right, you see this, CD? They, like, pretty much I put something weird and random in, and it's just like, okay, this ha this is definitely something. Because I tech because it is something. All right, so that's your spellcraft? Yeah. All right. Bulls are not on my side right now. I think I need to change up the dice color. Pretty much. You're looking at them. You're feeling them. You're scraping them with your fingertip. And you're reading their magical aura. Hmm. You feel that if you were to actually... Bring, like, take out the gemstones that these glowing rocks were. And then work them into kind of a... Like a... 
certain form, you may be able to cast uh, Summon Elemental 1 just by throwing them. Put them in the fucking bag. <laughs> okay, so you move the entire Earth, put it into the bag, and now you're in some form of odd place. Shit happens. You know what I meant. <laughs> well, you need to break them out of the damn rock first. Uh, hmm. Ganon, punch. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Dream's gonna move action. Well, I mean, technically, when. For some odd reason, I remember you. I remember you having a pickaxe. Yeah, that too. But that would require effort on his part. Yeah, well, magical well, shit. Effort is uh, effort is implicit. Well, here's the thing. Like, little like, like the you could get like quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of gemstone out of this. Yeah, and. You only need like a little tiny amount to make uh some like a summon elemental pearl technically quote unquote, oh, or we'll just call it a pearl, and those pearls sell for a thousand each. So yeah, you, we're gonna break out the pickaxe and you would be able to make uh, about one to five hundred thousand off of this rock chunk alone. Well, yep, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and break that free, <laughs> and into the fucking bag it goes. All right, while you're doing that, Zachariah, it's dark, very dark for you. You have no idea how long you've been drifting in the darkness until you hear ping, 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 over and over again, and my God, is it getting annoying? That's when you fall through the ceiling. Because, you know, the constant pinging against the wall causes a crack, which uh, allows Vadim to get that big giant hunk of glowing metal glowing metal rock out of there. Glowing crystal rock. And a, and a Dwemer capsule falls from the ceiling to you two. That would probably be worth money, too, but I'm not carrying that. Uh, Ganon, you want to help me out? Uh, I guess. Do you look over the capsule at all? Yeah, sure. It has a glass panel in the front, and it looks very technologic. Hey, it's Mega mm. Man X. Hmm. Take a look at the panel. There's a man in there. Ah, uh, ruined my fantasy. You know that could make it worth even more money. <laughs> if Raggy was here, it's raining men. Hallelujah. Shut up here. Any kind of inscription on this thing? Uh, yeah, there's some, like... Uh, do you speak Dwarven? I do not believe I do. No. Ooh. No, no. Oh, let me check the other sheet. No, 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 no. To you, this seems like rather ancient Sanskrit. Oh, no. Uh, Zachariah is still technically within stasis mode right now. Can I puzzle anything out of it with a linguistics check? Go ahead. Hmm. That's pretty crappy, too, actually. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that'll work, though. Uh, let's see here. You read, like, you actually can, like, d move some of the dust aside. And it reads right on the side. 
Convict number 46782. Crime, impregnating the Emperor's daughter. Prisoner Zero has escaped. <laughs> and if you're reading this correctly, it seems mm -hmm. this guy has been in the capsule for at least 1,672 years. Damn it, there wasn't any hope of a reward for returning it. <laughs> it also states to release uh, uh, pull latch B push it in and then press buttons in this sequence right here in case of emergency it's a core you speak common don't worry common everybody has, speaks common common has stayed the same since the fall of the me all the star stone there's there's a reason common is called common yeah you can't see it but i'm nodding mm -hmm. <laughs> i felt it though sarcastically of course <laughs> <sighs> wait does ganon does ganon speak dwarven no that would have been absolutely fucking hilarious. Gan is just reading it over your shoulder. You're deciphering it, feeling like Indiana Jones, and Gan is just like, eh, close enough, but right here, this word actually is not a uh, convict. It's a uh, pervert. Hmm. Yeah, some kind of... Deem looks over again. Some kind of ancient stasis thing, prisoner... Um, might be worth some money to the scientific field, uh, but it's apparently been this way for about a little over a thousand years, so returning for a reward is probably out of the question, because they're all probably fucking dead. What's he even in there for? Apparently getting the Emperor's daughter pregnant. Huh. I don't know. He's lucky back he's lucky back then that was that was a uh, knowledge history check. A knowledge history check. Yes, back then that was a knowledge history check. <laughs> That's one of my weaker ones, but nope. And to be fair, millennia is a long time to learn history about. Vadim, it's very odd. Like you're thinking about it and you're like, you remember going to a bookstore in a town that you much rather preferred over Sandpoint over on the other side of the planet, and you feel like you would rather be there right now, mostly because of the Artinian whores that were there too. They knew how to suck a mean dick. Well, I mean, that that's really there's any town that he'd rather be in than Sandpoint. Pretty much. But the Artinian whores were actually pretty good. It's yeah, pretty well. Especially with their forearms. But you remember in the bookstore seeing a book about ancient dwarven culture, and you had just skimmed it like mild, uh, like mild, uh, like, eh, I'd rather, like, okay, sure, I have nothing better to do. And you remember just a skim passage where it states that for fornicating with royalty or above you, in an adultery type session, when the when the quote unquote female was supposed to be a virgin on her wedding day, is more than likely a death penalty. Mm. So something about this guy made him important enough to not kill, but put in stasis. Yeah, all of this, of course, goes through Vadim's mind in a fraction of a second, and he's still puzzling over whether breaking the stasis field would reduce the value to the buyer. <laughs> well, engineering. Uh, that I also believe I have. Yes, and that's actually rather decent. I'm kind of thinking, Vadim has all the knowledge, doesn't he? Yes, investigator. Yeah. And well, to Vadim, it's like, if the person is looking for ancient people, it, like, it, and, like, it would probably lower it, but just the stasis pod alone would fetch you quite a bit in the scientific community due to the main fact that this technology has more than likely not been seen for the past 2,000 years. 
ancient dwarven culture kind of went by the hayside in current dwarven culture of mass amounts of drink. Yeah. Through. So this is a find. <sighs> I don't like that family guy joke where the Irish were yeah. a super advanced community before the invention of whiskey. Pretty much. Yes. Right. <sighs> oh, and with your knowledge engineering role, you are able to figure out a way in order to put the stasis pod in the bag. Excellent. That was what that was my next thing was how to, how to get it back. All right, in the bag it goes. Was Zachariah in it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. I might find a buyer looking for ancient people. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that that's when you feel the director's finger on your shoulder. What? Shows you the script. Motherfucker, I gotta deal with another one. <laughs> Pulls it back out, opens it. Alright, pushes in lever B, presses buttons in this sequence, and then... And then it's just pretty much like, give us a handprint. Fuck. You act. Yes. You look around the area, and you actually find a dwarven skeleton laying against the wall. <laughs> Rip off the hand. It might work. You put it on there. Like the hand that you rip off is actually a pros- like a prosthetic hand. Hmm, what joyous look is this slap? But. It's not like the prosthetics you've seen in Sandpoint so far. This is actually look good. This looks good. And you put well, it on. You put it on there, and it's like, it scans it, dings. You see a little heads up display on it with your, uh, with your uh, linguistics roll before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna technically count as the, as that you have dwarven for the day. Okay. And it states, Commander Rickenbach, welcome back. It has been. <laughs> So, some amount of years since you've last since you've last signed in. Are you sure you wish to release the prisoner? Yes. Releasing prisoner. <sighs> As the doors open up in a two-way. In the bag, the hand goes. <laughs> he doesn't need it anymore. He also doesn't need that necklace. Well, I hadn't had a chance to give a thorough examination, so I mean... Of course. That was coming. Zachariah, it has been a... You've been having the rather nicest dream. You dreamt about a dwarven woman with big knockers riding on top of you. And it just felt like a never-ending dream. Because it was. And does, then, does he look like he's waking up with any kind of speed? Yeah. he ba- Basically, in the dream world, he gets hit by an anvil on the head. Oh, okay. Well, that that, that intercepts what I was going to do. Dump cold water on him going, <sighs> wake up! Wake up, princess! No, Vadim was going to put his goggles up on his forehead so the glowing red eyes were showing and slap him across the face. <laughs> Come on, wake up, sli- come, wake up, Snow White. I'm the eighth dwarf, Snappy. No, I'm the God. eighth. I'm the eighth Only dwarf, Stabby. About a millennia, everyone you knew oh, is dead. Oh shit! What are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What are you? Oh right, back then fetchlings weren't a thing. What the fuck? A collection of shadows formed into your worst nightmare. Vadim walks away and starts looking over the dead dwarf again. Oh, you find rings, necklace. Oh, you just you just find a whole heap of uh, rather expensive looking jewelry. In the fucking bag it all goes. <laughs> Jeez, who's that sorry son of a bitch? Uh, the skeleton or the I shadows? Wouldn't... Either or. <laughs> yes. But yeah, you pretty much see three people in front of you. Well, one guy's currently looting the 
corpse of a body. He's cur he has pliers in his hands, ripping out the golden teeth in the skull. What can I say? I do a thorough job. Indeed. Uh, you see a you see a tiefling, but he looks a bit more advanced than the tieflings that you remember back then. And he's riding a big black wolf. And you see a human with a tattoo on his ah, arm. Ah, fellow human. So tell me. How long have I been asleep? You think I know? Uh, Vadim stated a millennia or two. Everyone you know is dead. Yeah, those oh were his introductory words. Oh boy. Everyone I know is dead now. Given that you were stuck in that pod, I have to imagine you weren't very popular in your home time anyway. Oh, I was plenty popular. Popular yeah, enough to Emperor's sleep with an empress's, da empress's daughter. Which, apparently, you have a thing for dwarves. I think he has anything... It's the only that... thing around. <laughs> I think he has a thing for things with, that walk on two legs and have a heartbeat. Heartbeat optional. Vadim calls over his shoulder. No accounting for taste. <laughs> <laughs> As but he's hey, ripping things out of the dwarven corpse. But hey, you and I can't make remarks, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting mine. From a demon. The demon looks up and says, your point. <laughs> exactly, that's what I thought. <laughs> Goes back to ripping things out of the dwarven corpse. <laughs> well, you, Jesus. You're just kind of like. Is this guy to? You, you just see like white hands waving in the darkness. Woo! Nothing. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Woo! Jesus Christ! Then you're looking around. And you're like, huh? You're within the catacombs of the ancient dwarven of well, you're within the catacombs of the dwarven capital right now. Oh wow! Holy shit! You, act, I you, act, again, honestly. you actually remember the you actually remember this place as you like uh, look over into that corner over there and you're and you're recounting fond memories of ba of banging another dwarf chick over there. Ah, oh, memories. I wonder whether or not any of my descendants are around nowadays. <laughs> you know what? You know I, I I'm like looking at the images and I'm like, hmm. You know, Vadim shares your. Jawbone and your forehead. I will reach into heaven and murder God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't, but somebody inside me will. <laughs> the green flaming skull? Yeah, the green flaming skull. Which pops out, by the way, going. And it's just like, huh, it's been a while since I've been out here. The fuck? Then it look, what the hell brought you out? Then it's looking around, and it's like, why are we in an A? Why are we in the in the uh, dwarven capital ruins of Zakmar? We lost the dance off with a bunch of zombies. That we didn't know we were having. Yes. Huh. Well, your dance moves were as bad as Justin Bieber. Boo. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I need to catch up on modern culture if I'm going to screw any women. Uh, you know, they say this was the richest capital of dwarven history. My method? Punch a girl in Creaking the Creaking is heard as Vadim's <laughs> head turns. <laughs> what? Actually, this capital has been lost for thousands of years. Like, I'm pretty sure there's no... Like, no one has actually been here in order to loot i wonder how much gold is still here you don't say <laughs> as out of uh out of compassion for vadim a secondary bag of holding appears right next to him well actually no the corpse had a bag of holding on it i mean that would have already been cleaned off along with everything else it possessed yeah just don't just try don't put in the bag of holding within the bag of holding no, I was going to try turning it inside out and see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sadly, that bag of holding only had, like, uh, scrapings of platinum coins. Yeah, well. Like a good 30 platinum. Yeah, well. Apparently, we'll soon find, well, I will soon find far, far more. <laughs> So, uh, what are you guys doing here? And how did you get here? I believe we just explained it to the skull. <laughs> oh, he he was he was currently Why lost. Why are you fighting zombies? What? Why are you Why were you dancing off against zombies? As far no, as I know, zombies we, aren't particularly smart. We 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 explained that too. It was a dance off that we didn't really know that we were having. I mean, I know you just woke up. Try to keep up. <laughs> Raggy hands the man a cup of coffee. Ah, thank you. You may not want to drink that. You don't know what's in it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably spiked with meth. Meth, cocaine, acid. Somebody say acid? Oxycodone, just because Raggy... <laughs> There's even, like, bits of weed swimming on the top of that. Make sure you stir it properly. Okay, well, he's going to stir it properly and then just drown it. Ooh. You're, you're going to be awake for the next 4,000 years. You no longer need to sleep. Nice nah, going, No, nah, just, nah, just kidding. It's just coffee. It was, it was a regular Colombian blend, uh, blend. So, cocaine. Oh. Hey, man. Colombia's big, eh, biggest export is keeping the world awake. Both legally and illegally. Right. Now, about this uh, this city and its uh, treasuries that have been lost for millennia. <laughs> I don't know. Ask him. He seems to be the tour guide around here. As he has the skull pops back into your head. <clears throat> he really does that. Ah. Uh. That's cracks his one neck. of the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you'll get, you'll no, get it's used not. to it and see Far Stranger <laughs> soon. <laughs> no, it's not. Now. No. Uh, Apparently. For Zachariah, it's not the strangest thing he's ever seen. The strangest thing he's ever seen is a six-armed six woman with two tails. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. Now, about this city that you supposedly come from. I never said I came from here. Look, you lived here. I don't give a shit. Where'd they keep the money? <laughs> well, let's see. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Be, feel free to bullshit whatever the fuck you want with this, because I'm bullshitting whatever the fuck I want with it, too. <laughs> okay. Well, I can definitely get you into the Empress, into the emperor's daughter's chambers. Then if I remember right... I'm not after ancient lingerie here. <laughs> this isn't a no, panty raid. No, she had tons of jewelry. She was even an emperor's was daughter. Diamond, she was stored in gold crusted? dust every day. Hmm. Yep. So much jewelry. Alright, you might be useful so for now. All that off. Let's see it. Ganon, you feel a warm, pulsating feeling coming from your chest. What? It's warm, pulsating. It's a nice feeling. Makes you feel like you're home. Then you realize it's not in your chest, it's in your bag. <coughs> what? Open up the bag. Golem Heart. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck, I almost forgot I had this. <laughs> At first, I thought it was my pendant acting up. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Just like, um, where? Nah, basically you could find you could find a golem body for that thing here. Sweet. Indeed. So you guys start going down the big dock empty hallway. Mm. For two of the people they need torch they need they actually need a light source. I don't. I have those goggles. Oh right, you have goggles. Well for what I are have you dancing lights? One of you actually, well, actually, 
What have you, what do you, like, uh, Vadim? Mm-hmm. You notice, you notice something on the wall. It's an imp oh. It's an impression. Vadim takes a closer look at it. You feel like you could push it, push it in. Sure, he does so. And all the electronic lights in the entire complex turn on. Pushes it again. Jesus Christ. They do not turn off. <laughs> Sadly, when you push it in, it stayed in. Don't worry, it's dim light. Who did what? Hubris, thy name is Vadim. Well, that's why I'm saying it's dim light. But no, everyone's able to see now. It's it's rather beautiful carvings. Although you look up, right, right where the uh, hole where the uh, where that uh, stasis pod was, you see more. Hmm. No, we are not taking every stasis pod. Says the one who doesn't have a bag of holding. Got a bag of holding. Well, then what the hell's your problem? <laughs> we'll probably run out of room. Nah. These things don't take up that much room, and your bag and your bags of holding are rather good. <sighs> More stasis pods. Uh. Yeah, and there's actually plaques on the wall which tell you who's in what stasis. Oh, I... It also if anyone I know is those. It also states life signs and everything like that. And uh, as you're going down the hallway, dead, 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 deceased, no life signs, kick the bucket, completely gone. You you seeing the pattern here? Yep. Through some magnificent fluke, yours was the only one that maintained power. Yep. Jeez. And. Vadim's engineering is just kind of like, you're looking at them, they have dents, they have broken cogs, wheels, everything like that. They're, yeah. they're pretty much worthless, except for the metal that they're made from. But you could you could find more of that in an easier to transport yeah. way. <laughs> and based upon the look of Zachariah, who's, ba who's just in like regular clothes yeah he they don't bear they don't put people in stasis with their good shit well no oh yeah you guys are walking da right. you're walking down the corridor and Vadim you're hello yeah. Oh, CD. Uh, CD, uh... CD win. Uh, dropped out. Uh oh Uh, we'll be right back of these, after these commercial messages, folks. <laughs> 